In this video, we will focus on how to filter a date array in JavaScript. So filtering a date array is very useful, especially if you're planning to use Chart.js. So in this video, we will focus specifically on the date array. So we have this blank template here, and all we're going to use right now is basically in here in the JavaScript section here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple array that gives it a constant. And the reason I'm showing this video is very soon I'll be making items related to charges where you can filter based on the date. So here we have an item constant. Let's call this. Uh, let's name this as the date. And in here we can put in certain values. To make it very simple, I will just select a default date based on what is today, I guess today is 27 August. So what we're going to do in here is just going to put in multiple items here. Let's put in a total of five different dates here. And they're all connected to each other. So, so well, let's make this 26, this will be 28, 29, and 30. All right, so we have an array with five specific dates. And what we want to do basically is we want to filter out. So if you have like a date range from this date to the 27th of August to the 29th of August, how do we filter out all of these items here? Well, let's start exploring here. So the first thing we're going to do here, it's quite simple. We're going to say here, we're going to grab this date, and then we say dot filter. So basically this is the filtering of an array. And what we will do here is a function. This function, you can just give it a date filter. That will be the function name. And what we will do now is, just below here, we're going to give this function, or we're going to define the function. So we select here the function date filter, and all we want to indicate here, because basically this here is a function, because we are looping through all of these dates, very similar to map or some other options as well. So we're going to use this here, we're going to grab one of these, we'll be basically in here, and then it loops through to check if this is a matching date. So we're going to say here, date filter, and then we can give you the name date, or anything else you want. Basically date is quite applicable, because we have this, these are dates here. So it's very descriptive. All right, so once we have this, we can say here, return. So what we want to return is basically the following. We want to have a filter. This filter will be based on, Two parts. Let's get this specific date and then we get this date. So everything between here will be shown. So we're going to copy this, including the quotations. Make sure you have the quotations because the date is considered a string. So we say return if larger or equal to this. And then we say here because it's a between date, then and, or in other words, between this and. Then we get here yen, basically, oh, sorry, we need to have here make sure we get the date, which is this specific value. So we turn the date, this, and then end between, and we can grab here, then we say smaller or equal to what exactly? Well, we want these two dates, between 27 to 29 August. So once we have this, semicolon. And then, once we did this, all that we can do here basically is this. We can copy this one. We can move it in here, or doesn't matter, basically, here. And then what I want to do here is the following. We can say here, console, blah, blah. And maybe we can indicate here, uh, let's call this filtered date. All right. We got this one. And what I want to do is I want to make sure you see the difference. So we also get here the console, blah dot the original date here because remember when we're doing this we're not adjusting the original um, the original array because if you're going to adjust the original array we have problem in the future for any other uh, filtering or uh, ranging dates so if I save this now and refresh you will not see anything here but if I open up the console log you will see we have the arrays here and you can see specifically what is being shown here and this is basically how we filter it. You can imagine if we have an input with a specific date, we can pinpoint these two eventually. And this will be important as I'll be making a new video covering these things more in depth. 